Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to talk about a specific case study um, and what we look at when we're looking at Dutch test. So I'm gonna go through, uh, this is an actual person that I worked with about six months ago. This is when we started. This were the presenting factors that she had. I'll talk about some of her results um, from her initial Dutch test and then kind of where things are at right now for her. So if you are looking at getting your hormones tested, if you're like, Oh my gosh, this sounds like something I need. I'm gonna put the link right now in the comments for you so that you can get on board with getting your own Dutch test. There can be a lot of things that you look at health-wise that you try and implement, all that other stuff, but a lot of times it can be really frustrating just wondering if what you're doing is actually helpful. What you're, If what you're doing and putting your effort and energy into is actually gonna get you you know, the result that you're looking for, right? This is one of those things where it can feel like, oh, should I do this? I don't know. Ah, uh, the decision-making process. It's like, there's so many decisions to make in a day. You can be like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so overwhelmed and so exhausted as it is. How do I know? So I figured talking about some of these cases that I work with can give you a good example. You're like, oh my gosh, that sounds like me. Totally. Let's do it. Yes. Okay, so case study, this is a 30 year old female, um, overall very healthy, nothing significant in her health history. You know, some illness, you know, some strep or something like that, nothing big, she didn't have anything bad happen to her, no major broken bones or accidents or anything like that. So no big factors there. So not necessarily a complicated health history per se. No kids, um, so no hormonal trauma there. And then the only stress that she's got is related to her job. And there might some weeks are a little more stressful than others. Some are a lot more stressful, but it's not a consistent stress. It's more comes and goes. It just depends on what the week is looking like. Um, and overall, you know, nothing big there. You might be thinking, well, pff, that sounds great. Well, what's the deal? Here's the deal. About five years ago, her cycle issues started. And this is the case for a lot of gals. You could like, yeah, maybe it was four years ago. Maybe it was five years ago. It's kind of fuzzy on the timeline. You just know it's been going on for a long time, like too long, too long for what it should be. And the cycle issues that she had, um, they were starting to get heavier. They were starting to get longer, starting to be a bit more irregular. And they've overall been getting worse. Like every six months, it's like, oh yeah, this is definitely worse than it was six months ago. This is definitely worse than it was a year ago. And so it's continually getting worse. And what really concerned her and why she wanted to get the Dutch test was because she knew that without finding the source of what was going on, this was going to keep getting worse. She's like, if it's this bad right now and it's been getting worse, I know it's going to be even worse six months from now. And I don't even want to know what, what's going to happen because right now she's, um, or, you know, six months ago when she got the test right now, this was a case where she was like, there's like a day now every month where I really have a hard time. It's hard for me to function. And it wasn't like that a year ago. And it wasn't like that two years ago. Like, yeah, I had some bad days, but it's been getting worse. I'm taken out like one day out of the month now. Um, you know, and, and it's been like that and it's been getting worse. And when I said, listen, if you have been taken down and out for one day every month, there's 12 months in a year. So that's almost two weeks of the year that you're just missing out on because your body can't function. That's a long time. That's, that's too long of a time to really not feel good because of your hormones. And if it's been getting worse to be like a day and a half or two days, that's where she was worried. She's like, I'm really worried it's gonna be two days in another six months or in a year. And then it's gonna go three days and it's just gonna get worse and, and be that much you know, more trouble to deal with. And I said, so you're absolutely right. This is something that you have to get tested to look deeper at your issues because just going on a birth control or something isn't gonna fix it. So that's what she went into her OBGYN and she was like, this is what's been going on. I'm not really sure, you know, what to do about this. What, what do I do? And she was like, listen, just go on the pill. And she was like, I don't wanna be on a birth control. I get really bad side effects from that. It really, it gives me a hard time and I gain a ton of weight, right? And we'll already see that she's already gained some weight recently. So she's like, I really don't want that. I want to know why this is happening and how I can reverse it. So they did a blood test and lo and behold, her numbers were normal. Oh, it's normal. Oh, they're within the range. You're fine. See you later. What? Yeah. Yeah. I'll talk about her Dutch results in just a minute, but this was one of the things where she was like, this was ridiculous. She's like, it was almost a waste of a visit because I did not get any help. She was trying to push something at me that I didn't want that I get side effects from. That's, I want to know why this is happening. And she didn't tell me that at all. 
And I said, well, we can find out with why, why this is happening by looking at your Dutch test. Yes. Um, the other thing that had been going on is she's had a couple of years of fatigue. So the fatigue that started before the whole pandemic lifestyle stuff started. A lot of people with the pandemic have had a hard time with stress, with cortisol response, all of that. But this actually started before that, prior to that. She started having a hard time waking up and it would take her at least an hour to get going in the morning. She had to schedule her day differently to give herself more time to like, okay, here I'm up, I'm awake. Okay, now I'm actually functional an hour later. That was not normal for her. And then she still had that 2 p.m. crash where she would sometimes, you know, because she's working from home, um, would sometimes take a nap if she could. Mm -hmm. That's how tired she was. And then she just had this 15 to 20 pound weight gain. And this has been over the past couple of years. She's like, it just like showed up. I didn't do anything different. I haven't, you know, changed my diet. I haven't exercised more or less. I don't know what's going on, but it's not coming off. And I'm just feeling worse and worse. So when we looked at her Dutch test, when we looked at the um, results and everything, what we saw related to her hormones is that her estrogen and progesterone levels were within range. So estrogen and progesterone were um, within the normal range. Okay. But where her system had issues was with estrogen phase one and estrogen phase two of processing. Her phase two was very low and phase one was very unbalanced. Now, what does this mean? What does this mean when it's unbalanced? It means that certain, um, your estrogens are supposed to travel down certain pathways, right? It's like, you know, um, it's like a conveyor belt. It's a conveyor belt of taking everything out and it has to be put on the conveyor belt first. And some of her estrogens were not even being put on the conveyor belt. And then once they're on the conveyor belt, they have to be packaged up a certain way so that they can be exited and, and leave the building, right? So if they were not being put on the conveyor belt and the ones that were being put on the conveyor belt were not being packaged up correctly. So even though the overall level was okay, how her body was processing things was terrible. It was terrible. And she actually had um, a lot of issues leading up to you know, her cycle because of estrogen specifically. Her progesterone levels were fine. Her androgen levels were fine, but it was really this specific thing. And once we started working on this, and this is primarily done in the liver, and once we started targeting this specifically with nutrients and with some supplements, things like that, everything changed. Everything changed. The next cycle she had was a little bit of a doozy still, but the, the second one after that, after we started on her protocol, <sighs> night and day difference night and day difference. She almost didn't know she was going to get her period because she had no symptoms leading up to it. And she was fine on the first day, the day that had been really bad, that for a while would keep her in bed incapacitated for a whole day. Totally fine. Totally fine. Yeah. She's like, this is almost bizarre. It feels so weird that I don't feel bad. And I was like, I know, <laughs> but that's great. But it was because we knew exactly what was going on in her system and what we needed to target right? So if you're wondering like, what does this look like? What is this? You know, how do I know this is right here on this page of estrogen that we're going to go through phase one and then phase two of how your body processes estrogens. Then when we looked at her uh, fatigue and everything else, her cortisol levels was very low, was below range, below range, big time. So everything was flatlined. It's like, you don't even get a gas in the tank. No wonder why it takes her an hour to wake up in the morning. She was waking up like with an empty gas tank and it would take her system some time to charge it. So that looks something like this, right? That looks something like this. These graphs and patterns, like when you're looking at this, oh, look, I wake up in the morning and I don't have any gas in my tank. And then I have to like push through and then I just get exhausted and then it nosedive from there. Yep. That's exactly what it was. So there was a lot of different adrenal repair things we had to do and some assistance to help her body rest better so that her cortisol levels could improve. We talked about different stress management things. There's other lifestyle things to change, light therapy things. Um, and this takes longer to go through. Like I talked about by her second period, it was like way better. This took, you know, a solid four to five months for her to really feel like, oh my gosh, I am like 70% better now. Where she had that right away, almost right away, right? Like fairly quickly in half the time here. It took twice the amount of time for the adrenal thing to turn around. That's normal. That's a normal process.
that's a normal process to go through because there's so much stuff going on you have to get your system to function well now and in terms of the weight gain stuff like she was able to take off 12 pounds very like not doing anything not doing anything it just came off because her hormones are being processed better estrogen plays a huge role in weight loss resistance and the cortisol piece plays a huge role huge role huge role in weight gain so once we start working with these two things the weight gain piece of it starts to reverse itself on its own so this is why we do Dutch tests. Again, there's a link in the comments there for you to be able to get your own Dutch test. So you take the test, send it into the lab, then we go over your results and really dive into what we're seeing with your system. So if this is helpful to go over some uh, case study stuff and talk about what's going on, what she came up with or what she presented with, what we found in her report and everything else, let me know. I can do more of these, but I just had to have some people ask about specific cases and like, how do I know that this is the right thing for me to look at? She wanted to take a look because she was sick and tired of being told to go on birth control and that she wanted to really understand what was going on in her system and she wanted to really go after it. That's what Dutch test is for. So um, other resources I have for you if you're looking at different ways to eat for your hormones in your cycle. I have my book, The Female Fat Solution. I also have my book, The Female Menopause Solution. If you are in perimenopause or menopause, I also have my podcast, The Female Health Solution, um, where I talk about a ton of different health related things. And then my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy, where you can subscribe to stay updated on all the videos I have coming out. And then I also have my tinctures for your cycle, um, tinctures to help balance estrogen and progesterone in your system. These are, um, I designed these, um, formulated them specifically for the female body and how the body goes through different hormones throughout the month. So that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know if you have any other questions or need anything else. Otherwise go get your Dutch test and then I can't wait to go over it with you. All right. Bye.